Hello everybody, back with another quick tip, and today I want to talk about something that I've seen in a lot of Adobe videos online, and that's removing a subject. Now, a lot of the videos will tell you to do something like, go up here and choose the object selection tool, and let's say I want to get rid of this guy here, then I can go to the object selection tool and select him, it will select him out, and then when I do that, push the delete key and do content aware fill and say okay. And then you get a result like this. Now in those videos, they always turn out perfect because they have handpicked a photo to use. And in that case, yeah, that works great, but that's not always the situation. So what I'm gonna do today is to show you guys what to do if those tricks don't work. Those simple tips, what happens when they don't work? So I'm going to undo really quick and I'm gonna show another way of doing what we just did. So I'm gonna deselect him. And then this time what I wanna do, first thing is I'm gonna use my marquee tool and I'm gonna crop down to the size of the photo that I want. I wanna leave a little bit of room on the side of this lady here, but I'm gonna crop out part of this man and go to image crop. And then that removes part of him, but it doesn't really remove the whole thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to right click and duplicate this layer on the layers panel. I'm just gonna leave it as background copy. Then I'm going to use that same object selection tool we had before, select this girl, and it doesn't get all of her, so what I'm gonna do is hold down the shift key, select her books here, select her bag. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a mask down here of this girl, and so now I have her on her own. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cover this guy up here with some of the background. This is a trick I use all the time when I have a plain background. I can go to my rectangle marquee. I'm gonna click and drag over this yellow background area here. Just make sure you're on the right layer. Copy, paste. And now I have this yellow element here that I can move with the selection tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it over here to where the girl is. And then what I'm going to do now is a free transform edit free transform, control T or command T if you're on a Mac. I'm gonna hold the shift key down and cover that guy up, boom, he is gone. Now we are left with a bit of a hard edge here, but we can easily fix that up. All we have to do, same trick we use for the girl, go in here, use our mask, go in, use a brush, big soft brush, and start to brush out that hard edge and blend it in. Boom, our gentleman is gone, took a few more steps, but if those quick tricks you're watching on YouTube aren't working, this is how you fix it. Let me show you one other way. Here we have a photo of a girl and I've been asked to remove these women in the background. Now I could go in and try to do a bunch of techniques, but since this photo is blurry, it's really hard to do. So an easier thing to do than going out and fixing this whole background is to just remove the girl and put her in a new background. We can see it's kind of a classroom setting. So what I did is I went to Adobe Stock and found a different classroom. So all I'm gonna do, go back to this image. I'm gonna use the same trick I used before. Select subject. I'm going to use my mask. Boom, she's masked out. Now I can take her, click on this layer, drag it up to this other tab. Don't let go until she's in the image. Let it go. Boom, she is in this photo. I can drag her into position. If I wanted to, I can select my background. I could go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And boom, my background is blurred out and I will be good to go. Well, that's it for this week. Hope to see you back again next week for another quick tip.